in the beginning, before the very first spark of creativity, there is always nothing. The blank canvas, the blank page, the blank screen, staring at you, waiting for you to make a decision. It's waiting for you to write down your first word or to put down your first note of music. And let's be real, that is hard. So we make excuses. I'm too busy, my day job is too stressful, I don't have the right studio, the right environment, too many distractions, the timing is off, the lighting isn't even right. Tomorrow will be the perfect day. I'll come back tomorrow and I'll start my masterpiece then. That's how it works, right? Well, to quote Charles Bukowski, no, baby. If you're going to create, you're going to create whether you work 16 hours a day in a coal mine, or you're going to create in a small room with three children while you're on welfare. You're going to create with part of your mind and your body blown away. You're going to create blind, crippled, demented. You're going to create with a cat crawling up your back while the whole city trembles in earthquake, bombardment, flood, and fire. Baby, air and light and time and space have nothing to do with it and don't create anything except maybe a longer life to find new excuses for. Wow. Deep down, you know, we all know that Bukowski was right. Good weather doesn't compose hit songs. The trendy coffee shops aren't going to write your novel for you. The million dollar loft will not put the first brushstroke on the blank canvas and those fancy office spaces won't be the reason why your business succeeds. But you know what will? The decision to create. And creating can be done anywhere at any time by anyone who's willing to show up and make the choice. So create when you're on and keep creating when you're off. Create when you feel motivated and keep creating when you don't feel so inspired. Create when you're comfortable and keep creating when life pushes you out of your comfort zone. Creativity isn't about having the perfect conditions. It's not about having a problem-free life or a bunch of free time or access to the best tools or the most awesome workspaces. It's about pushing yourself to act, to put your ideas into the world. And don't worry so much about thoughts like, well, what if my ideas aren't good enough? Because being good enough right now isn't the point. The more you turn creativity into a habit, the better your work will get. But more importantly, the biggest reason for participating in the creative process is that by exercising the discipline to consistently show up, you learn how to take the lead in your own life. And that is the ultimate form of art. So create when you're confident and keep creating when you don't know what to do. Create when you're getting paid and keep creating when you're not making a dime. Create when it feels authentic and organic and keep creating. When it feels like you're pulling teeth and you're never going to have another good idea again. Just create. The people who have changed this world through art, innovation, and entrepreneurship have done so in spite of some of the worst conditions imaginable. These are people who didn't wait for the storms of life to stop. Instead, they chose to create through the storm. No more excuses. It's time to stop waiting for the perfect day and to start bringing your best self to the imperfect moments that need what you have to offer. Create when you feel energized and like the ideas are flowing and keep creating when it feels like the muses are silent. Create when it feels like you have all the help and support in the world and keep creating when it feels like you're abandoned and alone. Create when it feels like you're actually getting somewhere and keep creating when it feels like you're going nowhere. Create 
when it feels like everyone is praising you and taking notice and keep creating when it feels like the entire planet is indifferent to everything you do. Create when it feels like you have all the alone time you need and keep creating when it feels like you are never going to get another uninterrupted second for the rest of your life. Just keep creating. And that will be good enough.